this is Jay the Cast Explorer here, and we're here for another day with Jay! Yay! Um, today, uh, Angie looked up a heritage museum, I think it was, that we're going to go check out. It is open for a couple more hours, so, well, I can't remember what time it closes. I might look it up. I think two, maybe three. So, got enough time to take a little dab here, wake and bake kind of dab, and get some food, and then we're going to, you know, head out and see what it's all about. So we'll a little bit of dab. I got some new meds yesterday from Remedy Extracts. It is some DJ Short Blueberry Premium Trim Run. So it's tasty. We got cake batter and a little gram of shatter. He was awesome enough to uh, throw in a gram of shatter because uh, the big batch of the uh, cake crumble was like 0.4 off. So he's like, all right, I'll you full gram, you know, and I was like, oh yeah, man, you're, that's fucking awesome, and it is bomb, oh, this stuff is so, so bomb, oh. it definitely is better than Blue Dream, I like it better than Blue Dream, and that's what we had last month, and I looked up DJ Shorts, and it looks like, you know, he does the Blue Dream also, so maybe it was from him also, I don't know, it was tasty also, Cheers, everyone. <coughs> I also wanted to shout out Aunt Bex Creations. <coughs> I think it's her niece. I think he's the one that does it. Niece? No, that would be a... Oh, anyways, family member. He's the one that makes these shirts. She sent Angie and me out some of these awesome ass shirts. Look back up over here. It's an awesome ass canvas leaf and it's tie dye. That's freaking awesome. I love it. I love it. I'll be wearing it all day today at the museum and everything, so we'll see if I get kicked out or not. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a canvas leaf. What's everyone so uh, upset about if uh, they get upset about it? <laughs> it's no big deal anymore. Um. Let's see. Hmm. Can't think of anything else. I need to show you guys the uh, garden back there soon. I gotta do a grow update. And that's what I'm gonna do today, actually. After we get back from the, uh, the uh, Heritage Museum, I'm gonna do a grow update. Our first official pre-recorded grow update since we've gotten back to California, Southern California. So, uh... That'll be fun to release. I can't wait to show everyone all the new strains and everything. Maybe I'll give you a little pinky, the really pink uh, preview in just a second. You won't be able to see much though. I don't know where my glasses are. They're around here somewhere. It's such a small area, but I can still lose stuff. It's ridiculous. But we will be back later, everyone. Bye! Hey, everyone. I know, it's really pink. Can't really tell if those are green plants or pink plants. But here's a little preview to what's uh, coming up soon. I can't wait for the grow update. Oh. All right, found me some lunch. This is leftovers from last night. It is a ground chicken and tomato basil sauce with uh, jasmine rice. Non-GMO everything and uh, gluten-free. We had this last night and it's really tasty. So this is what I'm having for lunch. Bye. Yeah, on the way in. There's no one behind me. We are at the Corona Heritage Museum. Dedicated on this site December 7th, 2000 by the Corona Heritage Foundation. It's a Corona Heritage Park Museum, 100% volunteer, non-profit organization. And they even host weddings here, apparently, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Railroad Society. Oh, yeah, they have a railroad uh, thing here. The little cool. uh, model railroad I've seen online. Remember it there. That's cool. And they got a website. Check it out, everyone. They got a big, huge bell right here. But the thing's loud. Let's see. And a bell was used at 
Glen Ivy Hot Springs Resort to call customer uh, or guests to dinner. Oh, cool. Oh wow, look at these. These are some old glass on glass jars. Glass on glass top, you know, um, right up there. Kind of like my uh, jars I use at home. It's crazy. Oh, there's some painkiller. It's got the information right there. Can't really read it though. Maybe can now. Still got liquid in it, that's crazy. Some sweet oil. You know, the funny thing is, you never find a cannabis one at museums. Did you notice that? Of all the old medical things back then, there was a bunch of codeine, or was it like a cannabis and like cocaine or something? I forgot what it was that goes with it, but there was a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> There's laxative back there. I don't know if this stuff's old enough for that. I don't see a date on them. Well, it's 35 cents per bottle, so it was way back then. A scale. <laughs> That's a big scale right there, guys. Sun kiss. Best for juice and every use. And there must be a, was that an orange or a lemon? Got a little lemon juice. No, it's not lemon. That's like an orange or something. I don't know. Oh, Sunkiss pink lemonade. Oh my gosh, guys. It's crazy to see Sunkiss in pink, or uh, not pink, uh, plastic bottles. These come in cans. That's crazy. <laughs> Sunkiss orange mama marmalade. I don't know if this is the same Sunkiss I'm thinking of. I don't know. Oh, this is cool looking. It looks like glass. It is glass. That's cool. It says Corona Road Races, 1913 to 1916. I wonder when this was made. Nope, 1916 maybe? No, 1940. I don't know. That's pretty cool looking though. Start and finish. Got a little walk around in here. Goes all the way around the wall. So uh, this is the start. And then you go in a circle and finish, huh? The Corona Road Race. <laughs> Every man save himself. The Los Angeles Times, not, uh, September 9th, 1913. That's crazy. So they're talking about the uh, the racetrack that used to be in Corona here. Yeah, I remember Kevin telling me about that. Yeah, there's they actually use it still. They got it where it's circled and everything. The racetrack that people use as main uh, roads around here now. I guess the Santa Fe Topeka and Santa Fe Railroad Company used to be here. Oh, I see little model trains. I like model trains. I grew up playing with little trains and building my train tracks. I always like that stuff. Got a lot. Yeah, Santa Fe little models, I guess. I think there's a uh, a little uh, train track thing around here somewhere. A model train track. I haven't seen it yet, though. Mining stuff. Oh, yeah, all the rocks and stuff. Oh, cool. Lime soap. <laughs> Made by miners. Sourdough culture. Used to bake bread, which was a staple in miners' diets. Oh, cool. That's crazy. All kinds of stuff here. <laughs> Buckshot. Seeds used for snacking. Miners' lettuce. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We have a lot packed in here. This is a cool little place. I can't try. And then tomorrow they're having a uh, cool event we're going to come to also. Ah, I can't wait. Oh, cold flakes. Oh, no, there's cold flakes in that little thing. I can't even see them. Gold ore from mines. Ooh, a gold coin. And fool's gold. I guess it just looks shiny. It looks like gold, but it's not. Gold ore from riverbed. That's cool. Always watch those gold channels that, you know, like uh, Gold Rush and all those. It's cool to look at. All right, we got a three-legged ladder here, guys. <laughs> three-legged la ladder. I'm going to put his link below, you guys. Oh, my. And I'm also going to put a link below to where we're at today. The tripod ladder used for lemon cool. collecting, huh? Lemon trees. Crazy. <laughs> cool. Got a bag to put them in. How many lemons are in 
Sidekiss grower. That's cool. And they must have really harvested a lot of lemons around here. Because they are just lemons everywhere. Lemon squeezer maybe? Maybe a lemon squeezer. Lemons and oranges. The Corona Foothill Lemon Company. The company store. So they got all kinds of products in here for you to buy, I guess. I think this is all for sale. Who knows? I think they're just mocking it up, maybe. Yep, they're definitely mocking it up. That's cool. Showing like a little, uh, little market store. A little cash register, I guess. Or, I guess this would be a calculator at this point. <laughs> Not really a register. That's cool. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, lemon squeezing area. All kinds of lemon squeezers. All kinds, that's crazy. Got a collection of them. Never knew there were so many. Got a lot of old board games and all that kind of stuff. Rock and roll. Looks like another game I've played recently. Forgot the name of it though, it's been a while. So I guess it wasn't recently. Mm -mm. Oh, there's an old Monopoly one. Flinch. We smack someone on the hand. Well, they're always popping. What are you talking about? Oh, checkers back there. I don't even recognize what that is. Oh wait, oh I do. Um, crap, forgot the name of it. But yeah, I didn't notice this old. Some dominoes. Game lot again. <laughs> Poker. Crazy board games. Cute orange dis drink dispenser. The game of Corona. It's still has lemon flavor in it. That's crazy. Yeah, it still has liquid in it. Couldn't even imagine. Ugh. How much would prepared you, by? How much would you have to be paid to swig that? Oh, I don't know. Would you That's do it for a thousand dollars? Sure. You would? Sure. Really? Yeah. It's prepared wow. by the KKK Medicine Company in <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. You Lemon would flavor. drink that for a thousand dollars. You seriously would see. I think that would make you sicker it's than a It's non-alcoholic. It's a kid. Oh, oh there's so much shine. Even for I can't a kid, there's nothing. just it's so tiny. That is crazy. Books. Can't see nothing but I was walking underneath it. Big huge eagle, it looks like. A perch. Does not look happy. Looks like it's gonna attack. <laughs> this is a uh, Corona's first street lamp. That's cool. Or street light. It's gas light. Couldn't imagine these being all over the streets, lighting them up. It's crazy. It's a nice, big, heavy one. Used to be over on South Main Street in Corona. That's cool. This is their little cell area for antiques and stuff, and you can buy and take home with. They got a lot of lemon stuff, of course. And oranges, because I bet you they were known for hor heritage park with lemon doorstops. That's cool. <laughs> doorstops. That's interesting. All kinds of glass back here. There's all kinds of stuff. That's cool. You can buy something and take it home with you. Souvenirs. This old, old items that they've collected. It's a little, their antique area where you can buy souvenirs and stuff. Yep, goldfish it looks like. Yeah, koi. No koi. Your pretty little pond. Yeah, all the flowers. Oh yeah, tons of bees. Look at that. They're getting water, water, water. Water and flowers. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's a big bee problem right there. All right, guys. We just got done at the uh, Corona Heritage Museum. Going for ice cream and yogurt now. Ice cream and yogurt. At a now. local uh, cream place, Cream look. Street. Cream Street. Creamistry. Creamistry. We're going to a Creamistry, you guys. Oh my. Go get some ice cream and then go home and dab. I'm kind of scared. Let's go see what we're going to get into. <laughs> Bye, guys. We got that butter and honey mix. 
it smells awesome. We're going to pour some on the chicken and then the asparagus can just add on to it in a few. Oh yes, it's going to be tasty. Shorts Blueberry from Remedy Extracts. He's he processed it. And I got some shatter and cake batter in it right there. It's probably too dark to see. I should have turned on the, the light up there. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh well, too late. Gone too far. Cheers, everyone. Hope you had a great time hanging with us today.